Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you tonight from my private Serpentarium. Tonight I'm going to be addressing some of the recent tarantula gossip going around about scientific nomenclature. Here's the rundown. In 2011, two researchers by the name of Fukushima and Bertani wrote a thesis that proposed that we reclassify some of the animals in the Avicularia genus, and I will link the title of the paper below for those of you who are interested in reading it. Here are the finer points of their paper. These researchers based their study on 71 morphological and ecological characteristics. So what that boils down to is the shape of the body and where the animal lives. 71 different characteristics that they analyzed. The original description of the genus Avicularia was basically large spider with eight eyes in an X shape lacking restylin on the chelicerae and tarsi scopulae. Now, that is not very specific. It sounds scientific, I know, but Fukushima and Bertani went way more into detail. And so what they proposed was that avicularia and avicularinae are of one origin. Another thing that they proposed is that we reclassify avicularia laeta to Carabina laeta, Avicularia versicolor to Carabina versicolor, Avicularia requesti to Antelina requesti, Avicularia soratama to Ibarapora soratama, Avicularia diversipes to Ibayapora diversipes, as well as Avicularia gamba also to Ibarapora gamba. There are some other rumors surrounding Smithi, Hamori, and Anatha. So for that, since their paper did not deal with that, for this, I turned to my esteemed mentor, Mr. Rick West. I turned to him to ask about the debate between Smithi, Hamori, and Anatha. And this is what he had to say about that. The time I heard about all this was when my friend Jay Spider, Jake T Torres Cisneros, came over and he told me about all the hullabaloo about Hamori, Smithi, Anatha and all that confusion. Since then I've heard other people talking about it. So as I said, I decided to turn to Rick to get the real deal on who is who. Here's what Rick West had to say about it. He said, at this time, Smithi has not been reclassified as Hamori. Hamori, which is from the Jalisco Colima area, and Smithi, which is from the Guerrero area, are two separate but similar looking species. At this time, Brachypelma anatha is a, quote, junior synonym for B. smithi. What that means is that anatha is now smithi. They've been classified as one species. However, the name Brachypelma anatha is considered scientifically acceptable. However, is a newer name than Brachypelma smithi. A junior synonym is a name which describes the same taxon as a previously described species. And this is all explained in a paper by Federic Cleeton and Jean-Michel Verdez. If you're just dying to see that paper, I have a PDF of it, you can always email me. However, it is written in French, so uh, I don't know if it'd be interesting to you unless you are also fluent in French. Happy reading for those of you who want to continue doing research. This has been a lot of fun looking into. Thank you, Rick West. You are the bomb and I love you forever. I always trust your word over anyone's because I know you've been in it longer than almost anybody I know. Thank you guys for tuning in for this controversial tarantula gossip. Hope this cleared up some confusion. Hopefully it didn't make you more confused, and I'll be seeing you guys again very soon. Bye!